choice will be to the sky on Monday, hoping for clear skies as we prepare for the total solar eclipse. And while New York City is not in the path of totality, we will still see 89% coverage. The U.S. won't see another total solar eclipse of this scale until 2045. So it's not surprising that it is shaping up to be the hottest event of the year. Here to tell us some of the best places for you to take part in this historic day, really, is Time Out New York's Things to Do editor, Russell and Colgan. Good to see you. Welcome back. Good morning. Glad to be here. We're excited. I hear Me one too. of the best places to catch the eclipse is on the water. What does that mean? Yes. Tell us about that. <laughs> so Classic Harbor Line is, of course, known for its sightseeing cruises, but the biggest sights on this cruise won't be the skyscrapers or the Statue of Liberty. Instead, all eyes will be on the sky for yep. the eclipse. But what's really cool about this event, they're giving out protective eyewear so you can see the eclipse. They're also really creative with their bar programs. They're doing an eclipse cocktail. They figured out how to sort of layer different types of alcohol. So it sort of looks like an eclipse in your glass. You ah. can sip a cocktail while you're relaxing on a boat and watching the eclipse. Tickets for this one are about 86 to $96 and they're going really fast. So far, it looks like the temperatures are going to be good. Yeah. It looks like the weather's going to be great for I it. So, so. it be really pretty to be out there on the water. And this might be an unusual one, but I understand Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn is holding <laughs> several <laughs> activities as well. Creepy. Yes, I know. You know, a cemetery might not be the first place that people think of for an eclipse watching event, but Greenwood actually is a really cool spot. They have a meadow with wide open views of the sky, so that'll be a great place to see it. Plus, they're doing a ton of cool events. So some of those include a gong sound bath. Mm -hmm. They're going to have artists doing a community mural, and then they're going to be showing a live stream of NASA's coverage of the eclipse, which of oh, course yeah. will be incredible. So this one, they're going to be handing out solar eclipse glasses while supplies last. They're also going to have telescopes with solar filters. They'll have astronomers there. You can ask your questions to and learn about the eclipse. Tickets for this one are free, but you've got to reserve them online in advance. All fun, but educational too. Not just Definitely. that one, but there are so many other ones as well that you yeah, can take in. Absolutely. So NYSI in Queens is going all out. They're doing a party of epic proportions. There's going to be DJs. They're going to have vendors from the Queen's Night Market and educational activities. And that's all before the big event, which is the eclipse. So given their role in science education, they're really helping kids and their grown-ups understand eclipse science with some hands-on activities. They'll have some art making activities for kids as well to make some solar eclipse art. So of course this one will be outside as all the others, but you want to bring your chair or blanket. She'll be hanging out in the grass outside of the museum. So tickets are about $10. There's a range of prices, but budget about $10. That includes your solar eclipse glasses and a really fun afternoon. That sounds great. Oh, Museum of Natural History. I'm sure yeah. has something very big planned. Of course, it's an iconic science institution, so they're also going all out. You can hang out with the scientists there. They're gonna be on the terrace outside of the museum so you can learn from them. They'll be handing out solar eclipse glasses as well. And then the tickets for this are included with your museum admission. So I definitely recommend sticking around if you have time, going into the museum and feeling even more scientific inspiration. Make a whole day of it. Yeah, it really is a perfect location for definitely. that. Rosalind, good to see you. Thank you so you much. You too, enjoy. Have a great time on Monday. Yes, you too. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our own special coverage planned for Eclipse Day. We'll have a team of reporters from Niagara Falls and all across New York and New Jersey bringing you all things Eclipse. Watch our Empire State Eclipse live coverage Monday, April 8th, starting at 2 p.m. on our streaming channel CBS News New York. We'll be right back.